Hello, my name is Jonathan Rigby and I am the director of Women of Twilight, which is a play from 1951 that hasn't been done for many, many years, but I decided to revive it and the production company that produced it was called 11F. Now, 11F so called because it's an all-female play featuring 11 actresses. No men whatsoever. Now, that's kind of unusual even nowadays, but back in 1951 it was extraordinary. I'm going to write home to Daddy again. He couldn't make me stay here if he knew. What have I done to deserve it? Don't you know yet? The play was written by Sylvia Raymond, who at the time was a 28-year-old part-time waitress in a milk bar on the Finchley Road. And suddenly, having written this play, she found herself with the most extraordinary bona fide hit on her hands. The funny thing is, it's been forgotten ever since. Now, I wouldn't hazard a guess as to why it's been forgotten. I can only say it's very, very, very unjust that it has been, because it is a fantastic play. It's about a home for unmarried mothers, unjustly stigmatised at the time, run by a very unpleasant woman who exploits these unmarried mothers wherever possible, and indeed worse, as we discover as the play progresses. I often hear of childless couples who long for a baby. Is that part of your business? What? Baby farming. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do, Mrs. Alistair. You know perfectly well there's nothing doing. One of the great thrills for me in reviving this play was the opportunity to work with 11 really fantastic actresses. One of the fantastic things about this play is that it has such juicy roles. Even the smaller parts are all well worth playing. And uh, the actresses that I cast seized upon these roles with relish. It was a novel experience for me being in um, an all-female cast because the last time that happened, I was at drug school. Yes, yeah, so that's really limited the, the variety of all female plays that you'll come across in drama school, at school, at university, the, the plays that you study. Well, they tend to have, to have more men in generally, do, a yeah. lot more men. And um, the all female ones will be recycled over and over again, so you're watching the same play, just different productions of it. Of course, putting on a play costs money, especially if you're moving to a much bigger venue. Suddenly one has to reconfigure the production to a degree, one has to build a specific set, one has to market the production in a much bigger way. So really, this is an appeal for funds. Uh, if you want to give money to the production, if you want to give a small amount, if you want to give a large amount, all of it will go to what we consider a good cause, which is bringing this play back into the public eye. I'm really excited about the prospect of doing it in a larger venue. I think yeah. we all are. The response to Women of Twilight when we ran it at the White Bear was so overwhelming that we put together our own website, www.womenoftwilightplay.co.uk, on which we have faithfully transcribed all the remarkably favourable reviews we received and also a great many audience responses. People were either tweeting or coming up to us personally to say, why has this play been neglected for so long? Why had we never heard of it? You've got to take it elsewhere. Oh, oh she's scratching me, you little bitch! Can't even fight fair. Look, you're kicking me blood poison. You're doing right. You asked for it, didn't you? No! I hope that in the course of this little film we've been able to share some of the excitement we're having in reviving this marvellous play, and of course I also hope that in the future we'll be able to share that excitement with a much, much wider audience. But of course, we can't really do that without your help, so please do give whatever you can. I'm Jonathan Rigby, and thank you for watching.